What's up, people? I'm Shaggy, the Opinionated Hippie, and this is the second part of round two. This is the Southern Hemisphere. The Australian Games have just finished, and I have the results here in front of me. Um, South America was the first of the battles. That was finished a while ago. I'm going to go through, so what's going to happen is I'm going to combine South America and Australia on this video, all the Southern Hemisphere battles. There are two in each. So at the end of this, uh, you will go into the comments and vote for the four songs you want to win. We are voting for the all-time greatest Frank Zappa song here. Um, at the end of the video, after I wrap them all up, I'm even going to put up like, I'm going to keep the same format as the first one, which I messed up on. I'm even going to put my little squirrel painting up there. After that, I will post the actual results of round one. Uh, this is just the battles, but if you stick around an extra 20 seconds at the end, you can see the results of round one. So yeah, let's get into this. Let's start with the very first round we did, the Southern Hemisphere. We started with eight. We're down to four. The very first battle is the number one overall seed, Inca Rhodes versus Little House I Used to Live In. Inca Rhodes, a song which that main theme came out of a guitar solo jam on a song also on the same album, which Little House originally appeared on, Burnt Weenie Sandwich, um, eventually became sort of this cocktail jazz number. And then in 74, it sort of developed into the ultimate, like the number one seed worthy version of the thing we hear on One Size Fits All. Great guitar solos throughout the years, keyboard solos, sax solos towards the end, incredibly complex written parts, great vocals, just an all around like, Everything Frank does, he put into Ink Roads. Just a near perfect song. Versus Little House I Used to Live In. That uh, Burnt Weenie Sandwich version, that opening piano part by Ian Underwood, maybe one of the single greatest moments in the Frank Zappa uh, discography. Just an absolutely perfect little piece of piano playing. Then we get the da 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 sort of the main song itself. And then we're off into crazy solo land on that. Live versions, we got crazy things like the Shake Your Booty Tango came out of a live little house I used to live in when they would did sort of a full band version of Ian Underwood's piano part in 78. Um, uh, just, yeah. Both fantastic songs, the little house I used to live in, the solos, the, the compositional parts, the piano playing, uh, that's sort of a little bit of everything as it appears on uh, Burnt Weenie Sandwich. Yeah, this is a battle, people. These are like heavyweights right here. Like, yeah, I know what I would vote for, but again, number one, Inca Rhodes versus uh, number five seed in this bracket, little house I used to live in. The next battle in South America, Peaches and Regalia, the number three seed, going backwards, uh, versus the number two seed in this bracket, More Trouble Every Day. Uh, More Trouble Every Day, I'm also counting Trouble Coming Every Day, I'll Freak Out, so if you like that song better than More Trouble, it's the same song for the purposes of this competition. Great lyrics, uh, political lyrics, um, talking about actual things that are happening, um, and then usually a fantastic guitar solo. It's a little bit rockier, a little bit heavier in like 74 when they really bring it, that Roxy and Elsewhere version. When we get in the 80s, we get some great little guitar playing, especially in 88 with Keneally. Um, yeah, more trouble every day. One of the more straightforward Zappa songs, but, but a winner nonetheless. Versus three and a half minutes of perfection. Peaches and Regalia, my all-time favorite Frank Zappa song. Am I trying to influence you by saying that? No. I'm just stating a fact. It is my all-time favorite Frank Zappa song. Three minutes of perfection. Oh, that opening. If you haven't heard the Hot Rat, session, the Hot Rat Sessions, uh, there's a lot of just like them working through Peaches in the studio and the way they sort of accidentally come across that dun, 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 opening drum part and there were other drum parts that opened it and then finally that one was dropped and Frank's like, yeah, that's what we're going through. To, to listen to that process on the Hot Rat Sessions, one of the greatest things ever. Um, but yeah, this is a hard one. This is a hard one, people. Both fantastic songs in whichever version you pick, especially with Peaches when it got a little weird in like 79, that Tinseltown Rebellion version. Um, fantastic, fantastic songs. But yeah, in the comments, let me know which one you want. Two more trouble every day, three peaches. That's it for South America. Now, the bracket that just finished here in real time when I'm filming this. Let's get on to Australia. We got the first two. Redunzel, the number one overseed in Australia, versus Gregory Peckery. Yeah, man. Just two songs that also both appeared on Studio Tan. Interesting. 
We got a little Studio Tan battle going on right here. We got Redunzo, instrumental, nice guitar solo, some pretty good keyboard playing in there when it was played live. 82 band, Frank got frustrated at one point and made them play it super, super, super slow, just to prove a point. Um, then they started playing it super, super fast and it got crazy. Then it got really jammy towards the end of the tour. When we when we get that at Italy 82 box set, you can hear some of the best Redunzels ever, or at least one of the best Redunzels ever. Um, so yeah, you got Redunzel, a song which somebody in the comments said was boring. Yeah, man. 74, 73, some amazing Ruth playing in Redunzel. Yeah. I've always thought of this song as sort of a cousin to Inca Rhodes. They seem to have sort of sort of a similar structure, it's a guitar solo, maybe a keyboard solo, offering different parts in it. First is Gregory Peckery, a song that might have made my all-time Frank Zappa top 10 list. That's just a fact. I'm not trying to influence you. That also, great lyrics, great story, very ambitious. And regardless of what you think of Frank's sort of narration and the story about a pig who goes into advertising, some of the little musical interludes in this are just some of the most brilliantly composed, executed, played, just phenomenal little, like essentially you get like lyrics and then this crazy musical interlude, lyrics, crazy musical interlude, lyrics, crazy musical musical interlude over the course of like 20 minutes. And it's it's stupidly fantastic. Um, yeah, Redonzo versus Gregory Peckery. Good luck on that one, people. I don't know what you're gonna do. And finally, the last battle in this Australian bracket, the last battle in the Southern Hemisphere for now, we have Yo Mama, Shake Your Booty versus Big Swifty, Waka Jawaka. We get minimum, minimum vocals, epic, 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 epic guitar solo. A song that sort of came out of a Wild Love guitar solo when Wild Love was like 30 minutes long and then Frank was like, well, let's just excise that guitar solo out of there, make it its own new song. Yo Mama will follow Wild Love, but we'll put a little throw, a little vocals in there so we don't have just this 30 minutes of bombast. We'll throw a little vocals in there. Then I'll step up and deliver my like mind-numbing solo that is just absolutely amazing. Uh, Yo Mama, you know, 78 all the way, appeared in 81. Just really, really great, great song. Versus Big Swifty. Yeah, that monster jazz number on Waka Jawaka. Got a lot of really good live performances in 73, 74. Disappeared for a while. Came back in 88. It's just a monster with horn solos and clavier, all this amazing stuff. Da -na 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 -na. Just a fantastic, fantastic song. Um, kind of a little bit the same. Like one is overly ambitious with his guitar, guitar solos and can reach 10, 12 minutes. One of them overly ambitious with horn solos and other kind of things, maybe a keyboard solo, maybe other kind of things thrown in there. Just another long jammy song, but everybody gets a little time to step up. Yo Mama versus Big Swifty. Yeah, and that's them right there. I think I forgot to put up the previous bracket on there. I didn't take a break for that. So after you look at this bracket for a little while, are you done looking at this bracket for a little while? Yeah, now look at that first bracket again. There it is again, so you can refresh your memory. Pick the winner of each bout, go to the comments, vote, let me know what you think, which one you win, You which one you think wins. It is Saturday at five right now. You have until Monday at five, maybe six. I might give you a little extra time because it's Monday and I usually get home from work later on that day uh, to put in your vote. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you stick around after that little squirrel painting, you'll find out the actual results from round one. You know who the winners are, but if you want to see the scores, stick around an extra 12 seconds. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you can get updates when the next round starts. Like, share, comment, vote, and listen to music, people. Listen to all the music. Peace. Talk to you later.